and welcome to another episode of Red Lit Uncle, with Uncle Anesia and Plucky. Hello. Um, yeah. It's we had an interesting uh, episode last time. Are we good? To... Why do you always say yeah? Because you always do that. You say and yeah. Well, I, I, I think it might put people off if I uh, screamed horribly like no, as if I'd been touched. <laughs> no, I think you should. I definitely think you should no! say that. Yeah, so, uh, welcome to Red Lit with uh, Plucky Hero and Uncle Amnesia and... No! Uh, no! <laughs> it's more appropriate for Green Light, I think, or Red Lit. Or Red Light, or whatever you want to call it. I still don't know what we're calling this. Is this Red Light or Red Lit? I think it, it like fluctuates between the two, depending on like how much attention I'm paying. And I think that's how good. Because sure. I reckon if it... Yeah, yeah. Like, for me, it's Red Light. For you, it's Red Lit. You know, I, I don't like to you say, say red tomato, lips, it sounds like I'm... I say potato, they're both like... No, no, I, I say think. potato, I don't say potato, I've never said potato. No, I say... Except just then, <laughs> but that doesn't, that definitely doesn't count. As no, I said potato. you say tomato, I say potato, they're like both things that people eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, they are words that people say. That, that too. Uh, well, similar... I, I... God. Well, I was going to say, they both feature in uh, probably Farmville as well, so... Uh... Wow, I've never played it. Literally never played it. Literally would rather take my own life than play Farmville. Wow, really? That's um, a bit more extreme. You're all like five Yeah, that, I'll, I'll be honest. Like I didn't playing no seat, mean maybe? that. I didn't literally mean that. That was uh, a <laughs> bit extreme. A bit extreme. Um, so I, I'm on my green light today. So um, I'll be honest. So I, I, I have no suggested games anymore. I just have... Just... Oh, no, hang on, that's because it says, it says results for the redemption. It's still on my search from last time. Wow. And do you know what? All of these things look amazing. Oh, you know what? There's like the nine things on there, and I'm like thinking I'd actually like quite enjoy reviewing them. Um, like, what have you I've got? I've got 11, and, and most of these things I quite want to review. Go on, go on. Go, name one of yours, and I'll see if it's on mine. Cough, <laughs> coffin dodges. Cough, what? Wow, that sounds amazing. It, 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 looks, dodges. it looks amazing. We are the dwarves. We are the dwarves, okay. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. RPG Tycoon, I mentioned that a couple of episodes ago. We need to review that, we definitely need and to review that, yeah. Just for you, because you were coming last week, the amazing Princess Sarah. Wow, that sounds amazing. The so what I've got, so, so this was this my, my results, uh, search results for Redemption. Redemption. Road Redemption, nah. Band Redemption, nah. so Bane's even, Bane's Redemption. Ronnie, Ronnie looks messed up, I love it. Wow. Best of Mud, Curse of the Gold. Wow. Uh, that looks good. Claire, which looks pretty messed up. Disorder looks pretty messed up. Yeah. Dusty Revenge, that looks pretty messed up. Yeah. Backstage Pass, which looks like some kind of dating sim. El Emo and the Lost something, Dutchman's Mine. I look good. Camera Obscura, Dangerous, Stunt Runner, and Indie Band Game Jam. Yeah, all of it looks pretty interesting. Yeah. All of them I kind of want to review. But yeah, okay. So let's go with yours though. Let's, you know, we had mine last time. Go with Redemption. So Um, RPG Tycoon? RPG RPG Tycoon. Um, While I wait for Uncle Nizia to uh, load it up on his computer, I'm going to go ahead and introduce it. RT. Wow. Oh, RPG yeah. Tycoon. Work, like Letters and single blocks always make me stumble. RPG Tycoon is a simulation game that puts you in control of a newly established kingdom. The previous leader of the kingdom left its followers in despair and it's up to you to grow your capital and reclaim the title of the most honoured kingdom in the land. In RPG Tycoon, you hire heroes to work for you. Heroes you hire will undertake quests for you, doing good deeds for the kingdom, spreading the word of your power and they may even pick up some bar wenches. Even pick up a few things to help you out in the way. Like I say, bar wench. No, I'm joking. It's your job to manage the kingdom and let the heroes do all the hard work for you. So, what do you reckon? Hero simulator? Yeah, it's got to be better than cat simulator. I like the concept. I like the concept. So, we're basically the town mayor. Yeah. Who says, oh no, there's lots of terrible little tiny quests. How are you like this hedgehog the Mr. Grumble oh, and he nice. shall give you some XP and a potion it is literally like the other way around from all those like Baldur's Gates where you like go to a mayor and he's like ah, you know I've got some problems with uh, 
infected badgers that are like on steroids can you go and sort them out or like timmy's lost his uh favorite water bottle now you can be that petty mayor <laughs> yeah yeah it's like it is literally the most mundane quest oh there's some rats in this guy's cellar can you please um eliminate them that is literally your first combat mission killing some rats in a you know, sewer you know i didn't think about it till now but do you think it's like a silent statement about like how serial killers are born because, I mean, what? You, start off, what? you start off as, like, a fairly innocent party, you know, you don't have much kills under your, your belt. And then, like, some old lady, you know, he's got a rat problem, so you butcher them mercilessly. And then, from then on... Well, the rats or the lady? Well, the, the rats. But from then <laughs> on, it just escalates. You build up from rats, you go to goblins, a sentient life form, and you're like, I don't care. Because we've got... We've yeah, got kill all the from, goblins, you then kill all the orcs, and then all the, the demons. You might be like, like evil demon. humans. Imagine demons are just living quite happily on another plane of existence. They've got their own quest to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, we keep turning up and like killing all of them. We know how bad is that? We and were terrible. When you think about it, it traces back to poor Miss Ethel, who only had a pest problem. She didn't ask you to like murder them, she just asked you to deal with them. And you yeah. chose to butcher and then, then you got a taste for the gold she gave you. And then you like I meant I meant that you should put out some rat traps and dispose of them humanely. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Oh, um, yes. S sorry about that. Magic missile too I'm much? Not picking up, I'm not picking up the rat bodies, sorry. They're way too much for encumbrance values yeah. purposes. So, uh, you know, but be, tough. To be fair, like, you're looking pretty lonely. We could have just bought you a cat, but no. No, we figured, we figured, uh, why not? Why not butcher them? Yeah. Oh. Wow, well, I've just thought about the a best game ever it would be, later? like, design, <laughs> like doing, doing an RPG with a twist. And you ride it in, so you do all these basic quests, mm -hmm. but actually you're becoming just this horrific murdering monster. So eventually you become like you become the overlord. Yeah. And like here has come to kill you. That that sounds awesome. Should we make that? Coming up next, we should. Light. We should definitely green light, guys. Green light. <laughs> Mighty and Plucky's pick adventure. We have like three pictures and like some poorly uh, formatted English, and we expect a yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. Nothing of substance. Yeah. You want kill rats? <laughs> you want kill goblins? We game for you. Harrowing yeah. tale of uh, torment. Wow! Rats. Don't say that. The rats, dude. I can't mention a harrowing tale after we just killed all those rats. That's just cruel. Featuring three blind mice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Humpty Dumpty. Oh, we have fairy tales. We have fairy tales in it. We could definitely have fairy tales. Should we, should we probably get back this? on track? Because. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, so so let's let's watch this RPG tycoon. You ready for this? I am. One, two, three. Nice music. That's Alpha. one point two but two it's out. Been updated. Yeah. Oh, so things I can't read because the screen is too small. New isometric, New isometric objects. objects. Some text boxes with structures to build. There's a building over there. You can choose from at least three buildings. You can choose from quests. Choose the difficulty nice. level and how much preparation there needs. Adventurers! The mainstay of a kingdom. They look kind of slow and block like. And they require a place to go to who they will purchase items or react to store prices. No, that's, that's pretty good. A rip off, no way. That's Sounds pretty like good, I like they that. Nailed that. And it's price to make adventurers happy. Yeah, that's cool, a little bit a little bit of economy. Heroes lose Heroes now lose health. Events. Oh, nice! A little bit of random encounters kind of thing. Better optimized resolution support. Two new background audio tracks again. Basic sound effects. Three pathfinding. Wow. It, and they've not really got much in the way of their selling points, have they? Only two pounds ninety-nine minimum. While in alpha. Dogs, you know what? I think it's got studios. potential. I think it's got potential. I don't like it. Scatanic sounds a lot like satanic. I think it's like a hidden message. <laughs> Although, unfortunately, I don't actually have anywhere to vote for it. Because it's already Can't vote for it. it. Has it? Yeah. Wow. wow. Um, embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look, look at Black Cat. They made a comment like, look like cool. Yeah. Lol. Like cool concept. I like it. Well, should we get on Haze. to 
It's Amaze Me. <laughs> this game has great promise. Excellent idea. And I quite enjoy... Oh, wow. Look, that's actually got good grammar. Well, I'll ignore that. We, uh, okay, let's... Yeah, let's move stop, on. Let's move stop on picking from on that. people that don't speak English and uh, go on to Coffin Dodgers. Well, what, what, what are you talking I'm not picking anyone other than people that don't speak English. But that's not my fault. Should we do Coffin, uh, cof coffin Dodgers? Bin. Yeah, yeah, Coffin I've got, I've got a bad feeling about this. wonder why. It's called Coffin Dodgers, dude. Oh, yeah, wow. No, this actually looks amazing. Do you want to you wanna read us in? Oh, well, two seconds. I just need these pause at home. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Bring some battle against the Grim Reaper and his army of monstrous zombies. That's amazing. Just to mind your mobility scooter with cool weapons and awesome uh, modifications. Bow your way through 21 exhilarating races and challenges set around the beautifully crafted 3D world. Let one of the seven quirky retirement village residents whom you want to save. Stunning 3D open world gameplay environment. Like, really? Get, like, race games don't tend to be, like, open world, I, do they? I think open world's a stretch. I think they've just, like, found that, like, they've got on the open world bandwagon. And they're like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, open world is more implying, like, sandbox. Yeah. This is, like, this is literally the opposite looks, of open world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really This is, this like, linear like, world. This is, like, as non-open world as you can possibly get. Unless you, like, have a track and you have no obligation to drive over yeah, that track. Yeah, like... But this looks very much like there is an obligation to drive. It almost looks like they actively penned you in, so you can't actually escape. I mean, yeah, like could be every wrong. other freaking racing game in existence, which okay. is not a criticism to racing games. You kind of have to have a set track, but don't call it open three D open world gameplay environment. Although, if it's not an open world environment, although I would be quite impressed if they did have like a whole world program and you could like view your camera out and see what was going on in like an endless landscape of places you can visit. Have you noticed there's also been green lab? It looks like it. Already? Yeah. Maybe I'm on the wrong tab. Let's uh... Let's uh... Backtrack, backtrack. Okay, can I choose one? Is it one to yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one to one. So okay. Go back to one. Probably geez, I can go back. <laughs> Going back to my search is right. What I would oh. like to go for is Ronnie. Is Ronnie. It's called Ronnie. It's Ronnie. Ronnie's oh. airship. Or Ronnie. With a like Ronnie. bloody sand timer. It's just yeah, well it's not a sand timer, that is a some kind of rune, isn't it? Oh it's a rune. Blood dripping down from that. Okay, wow, dude. you're gonna love it. You're gonna love. You're gonna love this. I I'm Ronnie is the first down. person psychological horror game based around an eight-year-old ru uh, runaway who gets abducted by a circus of horrors. After disappearing for thirty years, Ronnie wakes up in an insane asylum, now suffering from delusions, multiple personalities, and hallucinations. This game will constantly leave you questioning your own sanity. As you, well, I'm, I bet I won't be questioning my own sanity. <laughs> If I play this game, I'm pretty sure I'll be like, I'm totally sane, just playing it on like, like a computer game. To be fair, to be a game. if there was a game that could put that tagline in, it would be no seat. Yeah, if I, if I, if there's a game that's going to make me question my sanity, won't play it. Just won't play it. Because that is literally a game that's going to make me go slightly <laughs> insane. This game will constantly leave you questioning your own sanity as you strive to regain your soul. As you strive to regain your soul, I hope that means in game. <laughs> I, I won't literally lose my soul as a person. I think you like, should read the small print in, when downloading any games because uh, people are getting more yeah. inventive on what they try and take from you and those like your soul. Your soul. It's like what? what Free to play, but you must put your soul. soul. <laughs> well. uh, the question remains: Are you insane, or is this all really happening? Well, it's all really happening, isn't it? Like the game's really happening, you know. I, you know, I'm, I'm not insane. So. Is it that? Is it? Is it? Is yeah, it is. Or well, maybe you don't really exist, Blackie. <laughs> maybe you're just a figment of my own imagination. I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, I, I don't care. It's quite entertaining if you are. So that's, that works out well for both of us. Uh, or just me, actually. Just <laughs> pretty me. much you, just you, actually. Cause, uh... Yeah, it just just works out for me. Uh, the challenge of the game is to win your soul back to order. In order to eradicate your past, stop the nightmares from coming. Wow. Wow. 
play the game and unfold the story. That sounds interesting. Follow Ronnie on his road to redemption. Unlock the secrets from his past. Find out who you are and what you have done. Wow. So, obviously, as Ronnie, you've done something quite horrific in the past. I mean, I always thought, thought there isn't enough games built on child abuse. And oh, like, wow, wow. And I'm glad wow. they built this game. That escalated that quickly. Because that feels a wow. niche, doesn't it? Like, you know, Circus of Horrors. You think, so, so you think Ronnie, the eight-year-old, is a child abuser? No, but he's obviously a victim of, like, abuse at the Circus is of Horrors. Is he? Whoa, 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 whoa. He's been abducted by Circus he's of Horrors. He's obviously a, a victim of abuse. Yeah. I, I, I bet it doesn't say any of that anywhere. What? Well, what? He's been psychologically traumatised in the Circus of Horrors. No, no, but you're playing Ronnie and you've done something wrong. You've done something terrible. Yeah, yeah, after you've been abducted by the Circus of Horrors. I mean, you can't tell me the Circus of Horrors is like a happy place. Or maybe no, it but then like it's a punishment, isn't it? So you've done something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, your character starts out at the age of eight, yeah? Uh, level two and up, you're grown up with the mind of an eight-year-old. Oh, wow. wow. This, is, uh, this is why, from your point of view, everything looks bigger than it is. Along the way, you will encounter zombies, demons, and even mum and dad, all of which will try and stop you from getting your soul back. Sounds crazy. It is. My game is currently in development stage, and I would appreciate feedback. I, I love the sound of it. It sounds really freaky. I like things that are a bit messed up. Yeah, yeah we, it does sound messed up. Does we, sound can we watch really it? Can we watch the trailer? I want to watch the trailer. I want to watch the trailer. Count us in, dude. Count us in. One, two... Three. Freaky is anything? It's pretty freaky. Is it really happening? Oh, I just don't want him to turn around. There's gonna be something bad there. I don't. Do, I don't deal well with like suspense. I oh, don't open the door. What are you doing? Just, just lie down on the bed. Everything will be okay, Ronnie. No, no, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why, Roddy? Why? Why? Why is the bedroom there? Wow, this looks like a really creepy game to play, doesn't it? Oh, why is the rocking horse rocking? I don't like it. I, 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 I don't like it. Go back home, Ronnie. Go Ronnie, back home. Ronnie, just... Do your song. Oh, that's freaky. No. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, oh what's going to happen? You were expecting a jump scare. Oh, I agree. I, 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 I can't walk. I can't watch. This is awful. Well, you're... Oh, I'm, I'm in the dark at the moment watching this. It's the worst. Well, turn the light on, dude. I'll turn the light on. Take away the suspense. Oh, jeez. I don't... You know, well, it's just been, like, just a corridor of nothingness. Oh, the next one. Are you watching the next one? Lonely it's Town. Lonely Town. On fire. Wow. Wow, well, this is this is pretty. Uh, you said we didn't play so Pretty intense. Hill. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Oh no, there's, there's a circus then. Oh jeez. Don't go in the circus. Don't go tent. in there. Roddy, no. I don't go in. It's a bit freaky. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like it. Oh, that's D nice. D R S C O. Oh, a little bit of disco. D R S C O. Yes. Dance, dance it out, honey. Dance it dance out. Dance it out. Get your soul on the dance floor. Well, look. Was that, was that Winnie the Pooh? Oh, I like it. I like it. It's, it's... I don't think I can watch anymore. I don't think my heart can take anymore. No, no, we should. Oh, I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. Um, yeah, yes, but am I interested? Definitely. I, I, I kind of want to put no thanks, just so I don't ever have to play it. That's you. But I guess it goes out to be like a creepy horror thing, and it's a, uh, yeah, certainly uh, creeped me out a bit. So I guess it earns a yes. Wow, that's. I feel slightly traumatised from watching it. I'm really. I'm no. Yeah. With horrors. Potato peeling oh. simulator. How did we miss that one? You're joking me. Potato. <laughs> if only I was. Wow, that just uh, okay. Let's look at that in a moment. Let's go for indie van game jam. Let's go. Indie van game jam. Look, so. Okay. 
okay. So I, I had a bit of a false start there, but it was worth it for that music. What's oh, in the bar? I'm going to start reading it. What the heck is Indie Van Game Jam? I don't know. Picture Man versus Food meets Indie Game. What? It would help okay. if we knew what. Oh, no, oh, Picture Man versus. I thought it was Picture Man versus Food. Yeah. Not Picture Man versus Food. Okay. You just said the, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but I said the same thing, but in a tip, I, I emphasised different words. A picture man versus food meets Indie Game, the movie. Indie Game Van- Game Jam is a documentary series about the studios, games and personalities of the developers turned away from corporate publishing, struck out on their own to create games they love. The episode is a travelogue where Diego Alamazan, Chad Stewart and Zeb Chad, Chad Stewart and Zeb West, sorry to any chaps out there, by the way, from Binary Solo, choose an indie developer and set off in their indie van to pose a question to them about game development. Now for the twist. Along the way, they attempt to answer the question themselves through a game jam, creating a video game in the van that answers that question. When they arrive at the indie studio, they show the tragic or triumphant results of the van-made game along with the episode. The results of the game jam are made available online. The all-star lineup of indie developers includes... So... This doesn't actually sound like it's a game. It, it's a, well, it, right. So what I've gathered so far is, in real life, ah, it's not a game. It is. It is a. It kind of is a game because they're building no, a game in the van. There's no game. <laughs> and you get the the game at the end after their video game jam. What do I get? Indie video game jam is a one-time purchase with a new episode added every couple of months in the fall or winter two thousand. That is episode. Yeah, all seven episodes. All seven game jam games. Or oh, who cares, all right. Okay. Plus two gamers. But, oh, my Jesus Christ. Is it not a game? I Do you don't understand. Game? You get... Uh, it's, you're getting a documentary in the games as well. But, but we don't know what the games are. It's just... Wow. My brain. Is it, is it innovative? Should we just watch the trailer? I feel like the trailer might make it make more sense. I don't think it will. Okay, yeah, it might do. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. I just wanted to hear that music. It's a man on the road. Seven episodes. Seven away. Some lines of code. How are you not travel sick? Is the... What? A game about a game about? What are you doing? Yeah, that's good music. I'm glad they specifically said vote yes on the Steam Green like because I did I, I was just gonna like spam buttons <laughs> and, and hope that something magically occurred. <laughs> like, it's seriously, a game, they really it? think it's appropriate to say vote yes on Steam Green like. <laughs> um do you know what, just for saying that I'm gonna I'm gonna vote no. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ask me again later. I'll say no. Okay, not being funny, right? Okay, I I don't really okay, so so, what what is a game jam? A game jam is like a challenge to make a game in an incredibly short amount of time. Do you know what? Take your time. Make a good game. I'll buy that. <laughs> is that not is that not okay? Is it not okay to just make a game that I want to play instead of forcing yourself to make a terrible... Like, not all game jams are terrible, but they're not exactly games that I'm going to keep coming back to and playing on a recurring basis. That I'm gonna value because I purchased on Steam. Did you know the like, uh, costume quest was came out of a game jam and the uh, deep space station? You're yeah. making you're making these up. No, no, from the um, costume quest, costume quest. You know uh, what is it called? Double Fin Studios. Double fine, double fine. That kind of takes away from my point point a bit, but uh, yeah, they have game jams, don't they? They call them amnesia game jams. Last one, I think. Do they? I, I, I genuinely don't know. Yeah. And what do they produce? They produce well, they, what? they produce games which they then later develop. So it's kind of like you came up with an idea, oh. and then they make. So they, games. they uh, yeah, no, I, I like the idea of game jams for producing an idea, but this seems to just be selling you the game jam result. But isn't like aren't games buggy enough without them? You know, like, yeah, that, that that seems pretty bad actually. 
You know, I just, I just, oh, it just sounds. I, I just rather buy a game that's good than <laughs> he wants than, despite, game, than like seven Steam's game jams on, on a series on a documentary series that I know nothing about and have no interest in watching. Hey, let's look. There's a guy's the van traveling around. I have no idea why. Let's watch that. Yay! No, or not, or just not, or maybe I can not care about these people and not do any of these things. But <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I'm, I'm just going to review. I'll make sure I'm not wrong on this. Okay, it's a documentary says about the studios, games, and personalities of developers who have turned away from the corporate publishing, struck out their own to create the games they love. Well, they're not. They're creating game jams. Each episode is a travel log. Why are they travelling? Why are these people travelling? Don't have a home, I don't know, maybe? I don't... <laughs> They're just being moved on. <laughs> like like the, the local city workers, the police go, I oh, need to move along. I'm developing a game, like, move along, sir, move along. Move along. Move along. We don't need you developing games here. <laughs> yeah. Just move along. We've heard about your right. game jabs. Yeah, you, you, you can do that in New Orleans. Just, you know, they, they like that kind of thing there. Just, just move along. Oh wow, it's awful. Going with Sensa, where, where Diego Alamazan, etc., etc., et, cetera, et cetera, uh, choose an indie developer and set off in their indie van. Proposing, they're going to an indie developer to ask them a question. <laughs> that That is the premise for the show, right? I mean, I'm no expert, right, in game development, the internet, social media, and that, like, <laughs> that kind of thing. But, you know, if I'm, like, in London... And there was a game developer in New York. Okay, um, I, I've got I could, I could get in my indie van, yeah, and I could try. I could travel to New York, probably via boat, obviously on the van because I can't fly it now. It's not not got wings, or um, or I could I could look for some other form of communication to ask him exactly the same question without having to travel thousands of miles. I don't know, mate. Mate, is that do I have to send him a letter or a smoke signal? Or like, is it is is that what? Oh no, maybe maybe an email, maybe an email or Skype. <laughs> to be you fair, know. though, it would be like a pretty short documentary, wouldn't it? It'd be just you. Yeah, typing. it would. And maybe that'd be a good thing. Maybe <laughs> that would have saved them making this entire terrible series. <laughs> I think I get a definite vibe. You're like really against these guys. And then, well, I am. Yeah. I just don't see the point. Like. The good, a seven twenty minute ish episodes. Why is that good? Do I? I don't want to watch. I want I, like on Steam. I want games, not episodes. Nine game jam games. Well, you know, not being funny. If you sold them on Humble Bundle, I'd probably pay maybe a dollar for them. <laughs> uh, these are fun and crazy prototypes. Um, okay, fun and crazy prototypes means rubbish. Uh, <laughs> sketches of games. It's, why do I want to see a sketch of a game? Don't. Isn't, isn't that approved like... upon for the Steam release? Is that because they wouldn't allow you to release the tell version you already have <laughs> alongside the originals? My detours and side quests. Oh, when, when does that become a unique feature of a game that you have side quests? <laughs> no, it's a unique uh, sort of feature of the documentary. Skyrim now with side quests. <laughs> oh, oh, that's well, now I'll buy it. Now cause... with gameplay. Yeah, exactly. A green lightsaber achievement on BinarySolo.com. What? What? Do, what does any of that even mean? I got an achievement get called green lightsaber, which, to be honest, if I get that achievement, I'm gonna a little bit of me has probably died already. <laughs> and special thanks. To the, in, so you can't list under the goods special thanks in the final episode. So that we thank some like... people, that's pretty awesome just... of us, so yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Wow. <laughs> kind of I mean just... Flies, that's as pretentious you as you can possibly get. So if you, get, if you contributed to these guys or girls, they're gonna hold you hostage your fangs hostage to the final episode just to make sure that you like sit through the uh, two hours twenty minutes ish of episodes so you can get your thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to all the, thanks to all the people that like we mugged into like buying this ridiculous thing. Oh. We just want to say we appreciate you as our fans. Um, I mean, it just looks awful. You look at the episode list. I just literally don't care. So, well, I think that's a good point to sort of end this. Uh, I, I, I want to say successful, but uh. 
It's been a journey. Let's let's stick with a journey. That's fairly neutral. People can read into what Something. they want. You want to sign up for the rap then, Blucky? Oh, I'd have it no other way. And uh, I'm going to pretend we had comments suggesting what 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 to do as the rap. You're going to do you can do it in the style of Waterloo by Abba. Okay, go ahead, go ahead then. <laughs> What's Waterloo by Abba? Oh yeah, like what a lunar pony. I, I was going to try and do it as a uh, sort of oh, um, yeah. game jam, sort of van journey, sort of uh, style. Like a bam, bam, bam. Oh, so, so you're going to try and do this in a in a like yeah. So it's uh, day two on the road, and we're just on our way to oh, to Cliffhanger on. Studios to ask them a quick question uh, with regards to the optimization of pixels. In the uh, fourth dimension of uh, studio right. space. This this is going to blow your mind, Uncle. But I'm going to suggest something that's probably never been done before on the show. Uh, but uh, how about you do those little in in lines in between my rap, and then sets the scene for my next segment of the rap, and we'll just take it from there. Do you see what I mean? So you do like on the way to do do, and then I like. Then the you, you, you spring in with it, you, you jump in with a bit of a rap. Yeah. Then I do another line, then yeah. you do another rap. Yeah. Alright, okay. I think we should have several attempts till we get a reasonable product because uh you know, every every uh, sort of game development goes through uh, prototype phases. So without further ado, I'm looking forward to the first intro line. So just getting on the road, about to pick up uh, my fellow plucky hero in order to ask the question from uh, Cliffhanger Studios. So uh, we'll be heading down onto Toronto right now. I've got a game about hoes stripping on those roads. I like cop and dodgers, I got no bars hold. It's an open world, I'm going to fool you with my barricade. Taking it up and you're sick of my tirades. And then, uh, yeah, that, that, went, that went terribly with Cliffhanger Studios. So we're on down to uh, Detroit, where uh, our next uh, guest on the on, on the show uh, will be another tedious game developer harping on about coding and other things that we don't really care about. I've got an ingenious idea about slow-mo coding. It rupture your ruptures and as you watch the dropping tech boxes slow-mo. Time to give it up yo I don't even think I understand the concept but it make the developers web so I think it's time to strip this rhyme back down to strep uh, this is uh, George he's uh, part of our team and uh, just has a pizza and now has the run so uh, yeah I want to do a drama a diorama about diarrhea it's a new career move I've got a serious question do cornflakes actually make your flow quake uh, Cheerios, a uh, safe bake. I don't even think there's any mistake, but there's a li serious lack for poo simulation. I think it's gonna blow the candle off the nation. I think it will give Cat Simulator a run for its money, a pun intended. Wow, I, that was amazing. I just want to quickly say, I think there's a serious lack of poo simulation. <laughs> Plucky <laughs> Hero Guys 2014. I think there's a serious lack of poo simulation. That's um, that line in and of itself is is, is worth the episode. Wow. Can, can, wow. We, can we top it from there? Like, cause, uh... I don't think we can top that. Like, how can you top that? That's, that is that is that is literally the most genius line ever. I, I, did, try and, I did try and put. I think there's a serious lack of free simulation. I, mean, I did try and put on. in a load of uh, cheeky uh, puns like runs and stuff like that, but it's quite yeah, hard I, to I think... got that. Got that. Think yeah. on the, the spot, you know. And to be fair, I didn't really didn't know what you're going to throw my way, and it was like quite, quite hard. Well, nor did I. I didn't know where I was going with any of that, really. But so, yeah, you, you, did, you did good. You, you know, you're very good. It was. Hopefully, by the end of this uh, seven episode series in which we charge you £20 for, for it, and yeah. thank you for the end. Of did, it. did we not mention? <laughs> uh, yeah, after the first episode, it was like £20 an episode, so. <laughs> But it's yeah. okay, because you can win back If you haven't already paid us, you do owe us. So, <laughs> you know, just in the comment section, please, you leave your name and address so we can send you an invoice. <laughs> That's okay. And, uh, yeah, then you could, you know, it'll be fine. It's all above board. So <laughs> don't worry the tax, don't bother talking to the tax authorities. They don't talk to any of them. Standards or any yeah, they don't, they don't understand. There's a yes, clause 24B of the 
Do you act, know, act law act of 1984. So uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Can you imagine though if 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 it did, we did end up on green light trying to advertise our. Uh... Yeah, don't post your address. We're not gonna. We're not please, gonna send you please, an invoice. We don't want to encourage others to prey on you for like identity fraud. That's no, no, yeah. Don't ever post your details on the internet unless, unless it's like secure and it's like. Well, I, was, I, I was gonna say unless it's a really pretty girl and you just met her on a forum <laughs> or a pretty boy. Or a pretty I'm not. Boy. I'm not judgmental, you know, because it could be a girl looking for a pretty boy. It could be a boy looking for a pretty boy, or it could be you know someone who's you know uh, transgender looking for someone who is also transgender i don't i don't like to set boundaries you know Unlike whatever, whatever it is whatever it is who clearly do like to set boundaries but pretend they're better than that yeah i don't like indie game indie van game jam it's just a bit <laughs> really? why is it on steam <laughs> why is it on steam i could i could i did not get that vibe from you i i thought you were quite kind of pro like maybe, maybe if you. But just... how do I like like I don't understand like do I download the game and it's seven episodes of a terrible series that I never want to watch? <laughs> what? How does it work? I kind of want to vote it up just to find out. I don't. Ah. Uh... Also, the awful thing is this could actually be a really good documentary. It could be. I just I just object to the format. Yeah. So, I, mean, I, I like, just don't know. I fair, just don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that I really was against. And then it was like, oh, uh, mods. Mods on Minecraft. First, I was really Yeah, you were totally... I was totally you were against adamant against. Like, fuck, like, you were so against mods on Minecraft. I was like, just give it a go. Let's just do a little bit of Feed the Beast. Let's just... And then afterwards, he was... Like, he started. He was moaning. He was like, why is it whenever I look at something, it tells me where that block is? I was like, that's a good thing. Yeah. You want to know what it is and what, what mod pack it's from? That's a good thing. Oh, I'm not going to get used to it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, no, I don't like change. I don't like change. <coughs> and I like, oh, probably like it. about two days later, it's like, oh, I love this pack. I love mods. Like, oh, I love mods. Oh, what's that? We can do what? We can fly. Let's, let's fly. do that. Let's get, one of, let's get a broomstick. Let's be witches. Let's be wizards. Yay. Let's make things night time. Are they, exactly. To be fair. Exactly. To be fair. My standard of Minecraft was not even realising there was like brightness settings and how it would improve my gameplay. So yeah, that to be fair, yeah. To be and fair, the, the one thing I said learn. to Plucky before we started was you can't build a sprawling glass palace under the water again because I, I like symmetry. I like symmetry. I'm a little bit OCD about symmetry. Unless it's in um, animal faces, and then in which case. Your your yeah your sprawling glass palace palace had no element of symmetry, like. But then, so instead of doing that underwater, he just built a glass palace over ground. He's obsessed. But at least it's mostly symmetrical. It's like, you know, it does annoy me there's bits like that are not symmetrical. Glass, you right? put bits of right? clear glass amongst the other normal regular glass. Yeah. That, that oh, I don't, just don't understand. Can't handle that. And on it's that, not even the square. And on that mystery of life, I think it's a good time to uh, point to end this show um i hope you've enjoyed the wrap-up wrap i hope you enjoyed well, the show um i'm gonna thank you this episode a bit premature oh, i know you're quite welcome you're welcome i was i was <laughs> sure you were you were thanking our viewers sorry oh, and you Apologies. too uncle you do make the show i mean thank you thank you well no, no you technically make the show because you're recording it so oh. actually in, in all literal ways you're making the show you so i should be recording this right no, I would again. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, goodbye uh, and goodbye. thank you much, Lee, our wonderful viewership. Yes, uh, and if you've actually found a good poo simulator, um, yeah, no, put leave it, in the, it comments. in the comments below. <laughs> Don't just defecate and take a picture of it and put it in the comments. Just No one uh, needs to see that. Apart from your doctor, if there's like blood in there or something. Yeah, if there's blood in there, yeah. Obviously. Probably should go to the doctors. Blood in your stools is bad for you kids. Anyway, carry on. And who said we weren't educational? Yeah, exactly. Bye.